These are randomly generated NHL players and I will be selecting 20 of them to build a team. For today's draft challenge, I will only be able to see the career shot total of each player. After all the selections have been made, we will assemble the team on NHL 25 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. As we do, let's go ahead and draft some forwards first. Ooh, only 90. 2,351. That is crazy. See, the thing is, 90 shots could be someone good. Like, it could be Leo Carlson. But I have to go safe on the first one here and go with the card on the right. Hmm. All right, we get a Jeberly to start the team off. Next up, we have a lot of shots going on here. We have nearly 1,800, 1,128, and 580. All of these players have been around for at least a decent amount of time. I've got a feeling about the card in the middle, so we're going to go with that one. I think I misinterpreted. Clearly... That feeling was the card I shouldn't go with. We got Anthony Mantha. We missed out on Robert Thomas on the right, Lindholm on the left. Hate to see it. 859, just over 1,000. We have to go with the player that just surpassed 1,000. Honestly, I know he's been around for quite a while, but I would not have expected him to have that many shots. Regardless, Jonathan Drouin is now a part of our team. Here we go. 749, nearly 1,700, and then... Nearly 1,800 on the right. You know what? Screw it. I'm going against the grain. Give me the 749. Couldn't really miss on this round. I could have hit a lot harder, but I couldn't miss. Our team so far is looking very interesting. Card on the right. We will obtain an Anders Lee. Again, for some reason, I feel like that's just a lot of shots. We don't have a stud yet. Holy smokes. This person puts the puck on net. I wonder how many shots Ovechkin has. Either way, we're going in the middle. Yeah, you know what? That one checks out. To be honest, no clue what his overall is going to be in this game. Either way, Patrick Kane is not a bad player by any means. Next up, we have another set of players with a decent amount. Like, there's no 90, 110, something like that. You know what I mean? We are gonna go with the player on the left oh yeah let's add some intimidation to this team sam bennett sam wise welcome aboard oh come on you couldn't get two more pucks on net that is such an unsatisfying number and for those reasons i'm out but what i will be doing is going with 350 because it's nice and even that round was severely mid we had tyler johnson on the left mason appleton in the middle and we got a geeky on the right whomst will be our ninth forward just over 2,000. Why do I want to go for the middle card? Why do I do this to myself? Fine, let's go. All righty then. Nick Robertson. Could have had a Chris Kreider. Feels bad. I do not mean to alarm you, but we do have three forwards left to go and not one of them is 90 overall yet. 2,500 on the right. Let's go. Could have had a 90 overall player, but alas, it was not meant to be. Nazem Kadri on the right side is going to be the newest member of our team. Two forwards to go. I'm not falling for that again. We gotta try and send it here. Give me the 1,628. Oh, fire me right up. That is exactly what we needed. Miko Rantanen on the squadron. Elite. One more forward. This is it. And we need another great player here. Have to play it safe and go for the one on the right. No matter what we did there, we weren't getting a stud, but we did get a very decent player in Nino Niederreiter. That's our forward core done. It is now time to draft defensemen. One has clearly played a lot longer than the others. And as a result, just for a safety first pick, we are going to take the player on the left. Oh yeah, let's go. That's my boy right there, Morgan Riley. That is quite a lot of shots. The player on the right also has a decent amount, and the player in the middle, not so much. But I am going to go with the one on the right. Sure. Dmitry Kulikov, again. Would not have assumed he has that many shots. He's been around for a while, but still. 801. Woo, that is pretty close. And the player on the right is clearly kind of new. We've gone to the left. We've gone to the right. It's time to take the card in the middle. You know what? I feel like he's actually a pretty good overall. Rasmus Anderson is going to be added to our defensive core. Halfway through the defenders... 903. I think I made the right decision. We got a Neil Pionk. Ooh. 
I am going to deviate this time a little bit and go for the 624. Hmm. I think he's actually decent. Pareko would have been cool. Say la vie. And our final defender man. 404 not found. 1,151 has got to be the guy. The final player being added is Justin Schultz. Romanov on the left, Bernard Docker on the right. Let's get some tenders. It's basically always save percentage for goaltenders. Ooh, that's a tough look. There's only one safe option here. Maybe. It would be outside of my risk appetite to take anybody other than the middle card. He's not off to the best start this year, but his overall in the game should still be decent. Will we get another goaltender who will be the starter, or are they going to back up Stewie? Yeah, I'm just going safe again. 909 in the mid ski. You have got to be kidding me. We get soup. I was actually so close to taking Decord, and last second I decided to. Whatever, it is what it is. Archers would have been cool as well, but that's our team. Let's go assemble it on NHL 25 and see how we do. We are here on NHL 25, and the Erie Eagles are 89 overall in Division 4. Although injuries are off, Jabroni, you are still getting noped. Our overall is pretty good, but will we have chemistry is the question. We're going to find out right now. Edit lines, Jabroni is going to interrupt me here. Wow. A plus 5 on the first line is incredible. I'm also not going to complain about a plus 2 and a plus 1, but what is Owen Tippett doing down here as 4th line center? Patrick Kane is a right winger that shoots left, so I might actually put him over here, and then Tippett can be on the right side, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to move Patrick Kane up, that does sacrifice the plus 3 here, and makes it a plus 2, which isn't that big of a difference, but we get the playmaker and Patrick Kane to play with Ranton in the sniper. I'm also going to promote Drew to the second line, because remains the same chemistry-wise, and again, playmaker with a sniper on the right side here. Defensively, we don't really have the same luck. I mean, it's not bad. A plus one, a zero, and a dash one. I would like to try and make this a zero if I can, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. In net, we have Stewie Decimal System backed up by Campbell Soup. If our team is struggling for whatever reason, I will come do best lines, but I feel like this gives us our best chance. I am going to go ahead and say that we get 45 wins, rant in and gets the most points, with 101. We are out of the gate hot. 7-1-1. One, and one. The Buffalo Sabres were not doing too good right there. Could this be our first Stanley Cup in NHL 25? I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. See, as soon as I say that, we start sucking. We can't win a game to save our lives right now. All right, fine. You win. Best lines it is. Will they put Owen Tippett back on the fourth line? Like, that is insane. We're kind of picking it back up here. We're still not doing too good. Also, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, then what I do is actually move the players to international before putting them on this custom team. So that way, the players that we drafted are no longer on their team. We didn't duplicate Ranton and he just no longer plays for Colorado. We're like the Monstars out here stealing their talent. I don't know when this happened. Apparently I wasn't paying attention, but we cooked allegedly. We're almost at 40 wins already. Can we get 40? Oh, we're already at 45 as well. Look at that. Back-to-back -back wins and we finish with a record of 45, 30, and 7. That record is good enough to get us third in the division. The Florida Panthers had 110 and that would be enough to get them the President's Trophy. We found ourselves 10th in the entire league let's see if it was the top 16 teams that made it no it was not 15 and 16 both got shafted ranton and did lead our team he had 95 points patrick kane at 87 kadri 86 you gotta love to see that see that's why he's my guy right there morgan riley 67 points what a year for him pionk got 34 stewie Pretty good stats. He had four shutouts, 279 GAA. Campbell was right there as well. Bobrovsky would lead the league for wins. He had a 909, a 924 for John Gibson, which is absolutely crazy. Now, this is weird. They had the same amount of goals, same amount of assists, but Roman Yossi was a plus eight. Winning the Art Ross, and not even by a close margin, is Austin Matthews, 130 points. He doesn't get the Rocket Richard, though, because Nate Mack, one more goal. First round opponent is the Golden Knights. Nothing has really changed here. I don't think we took any players from them. This is a tough first matchup, but we're going to go ahead and simulate the first three games. Everybody knows the rules. Come on, boys. The Erie Eagles. Let's get it done. That's a great way to start. A shutout, too. Uh-oh. Nice. They cannot win over the next two games, so we are going to go ahead and simulate those as well. Ooh, best of three. No, you haven't earned a real-time sim. Come on, push a seven at least. 
That was scary. Real time sim, the Golden Knights against the Erie Eagles. Who is going to make it out of the first round? That is a great start for us. And that's how the first period is going to end. one nothing for the good guys. Let's continue simulating here and hope that we can maintain that. No, we can't. Theodore said shut up. We're out shooting them very dramatically here. Getting to 30 shots before they even hit 20. Great way to start the third. Kadri puts the team up by one and Rantanen puts us up by two. That could be it? We were just- no, we're still doubling them in shots. They kind of pulled it back here. Five on three. Why are we giving them a chance to get back in the game? You absolute goobers. All right, we win though. Our reward for beating the Golden Knights is the President's Trophy winning Panthers. What's going on here? This team is absolutely cooking without Sam Bennett. They still look very good. You must know the rules. First three games, can we have the 2-1 advantage at least? Oh? No, never mind. That was weird. It was like stuck on that game, and then it just skipped like several days at a time. We need a win here. This is going to be massive if we take a loss. We are right up against the wall, but no, it is a 2-2 series. Best of three. And we take the advantage. Are they going to push a 7? Or are we going to move on to the conference final? Let's go. The Oilers are the Oilers, but they do not have Stuart Skinner. So Calvin is their starting goaltender at 80 overall. Let's try to expose that. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but our team is actually cap compliant with like six and a half million to spare, which is very interesting. Let's see how the first three games go. Amazing start. Are you kidding me right now? Are the brooms going to come out or is this thing going to turn ugly quick? Wow, we are in the Stanley Cup final against either Pittsburgh or the Toronto Maple Leafs and it will be Toronto. I don't want to say this because he is my favorite player on that team, but I guess getting rid of Morgan Riley was all they had to do. I do remember them at the trade deadline acquiring Chikrin. I think... It was Yarncroak who was involved and maybe a draft pick. Joseph Wall, 83 overall starter. Anthony Stellar is the backup. This is for all the marbles. First three games, how are we gonna do? Not great. Come on, win this one. Make it a best of three again. No, that's not good. No, I'm not gonna real-time sim it because we haven't earned it yet. Yeah. They absolutely dummied us. That is the closest we've been so far, though. This guy's playing out of his mind. 32 points in 22 games. He definitely would have won the Conn Smythe had we gone on to win the Cup. Morgan Riley over point a game. Legend. I wouldn't say goaltending was a weak spot for us. Well, no. We made it to the Stanley Cup final, so everybody had to pull their weight. Joseph Wall, 925 save percentage. Jari had a 931. In real life, he's kind of struggling right now. Or I should say that at least when I'm recording this, he isn't doing too well, but maybe he'll pick it back up. Maury absolutely ran away with it. He was not even close to the next defender who had 13 points. Come on, he might have lost, but give him the con Smythe anyway. 32 points in 22 games, 16 goals. And then of course we've got Marner, we've got Nylander, we've got Matthews. Kadri actually did very well though. He was up there. It is rather insane that these two guys had 23 and 22 points respectively in 16 games played. Matthews gets the Art Hart combo as you would expect from that season. Roman Yossi with the Norris, so I guess the plus minus might have made a difference there. Marnsey gets the Lady Bing. Celebrini with the Calder. The Con Smythe goes to Will. Unbelievable. Swayman is awarded the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Wall, Pareko, Bill Masterton. We could have had him. Wolf is awarded the Jack Adams. Crosby gets the Selkie. Matthew's gonna get, not the Rocket Richard. That's right, he does get the Ted Lindsay. But Nate Mack ended up with 63 goals. There's the playoff tree if anybody is curious. So that was a good run. We almost had it. We had a bit of a scare early on in the season there where I wasn't even sure we were gonna make it in. But then we went all the way to the finals just to get dusted. As always, I appreciate you guys. I would definitely appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe. Well, as always, next year.